opponent. Oh, we're gonna wait. We're gonna get him. We're gonna get him. Here. Down to five. We're gonna take down the up. We're gonna take down the opponent. Land and Titan of Industry if you want. Perfectly fine. And Cacophony doesn't even target, so it gets around Veil of Summer, which is you. Seth, I predicted that lots of people someday do a secret layer based on streamers, and you will be a card. Uh, I mean, I guess that would be cool. I guess that would be pretty cool. I mean, I will say, whenever I see, like, the, the World Championship cards, that does seem I think that would be one of the, one of the sweetest things. Whenever I see just like international cards or world championship, what a cool reward. I mean, I'm kind of on, I'm kind of on a card. Where did I keep it? Oh, maybe I, oh, here it is. I don't know. I'm destroying my copy. I don't know if you saw the, I don't know if you saw these from Wizard Magic on Chicago for Gavin's unknown event. They assumed the unknown event was, I guess, magic content creator. So I do have the feature. I'm still gonna build the deck around it. It is a Panharmonicon effect. Panharmonicon effect. We got Sethron. I mean, between Sethron, the Fish Brewer, maybe that's a super teacher. Super teacher. <laughs> Precon deck list could be a good value. Uh, wait, what precon? What kind of card would I make? See, it'd probably need to be a creature. But they've already done Yarok. They've already done Elish Nord. They've already done Nagus of the Moon. So all the low hanging fruit is pretty much gone. <laughs> so, what kind of creature could I make that's like, maybe it mashes together? Is there some way to get Blood Moon, like Magus of the Moon and Panharmonicon mixed together? That would be, that would be, maybe, ooh. Maybe it's like, you know what it might be? You know what it might be? It would be like a, I would want it to be like a drop. But I want like some sort of It's gotta be more than that. Maybe ETB uh, turn all non-basic lands into mountains. But then that's a bad one. I don't know, there's gotta be some way to have like each blood dude and amount of effect. What is your absolute favorite archetype in your power level of playing commander? So I would say power level is like high powered cat which I know this is the word, but probably like seven. But really, I think I, I enjoy them. Not CDH, where the goal is to kind of go off a lot of the time and try to win. But I want to be able to play functional colors that aren't trying to win. So, whatever casual would count as. So, that's my favorite play uh, power level. As far as like a play style or a deck, it used to definitely be like super value y Panharmonicon play style deck. And it might actually Deck, and like, if I really think about it, that probably is still my favorite play. I don't do it as much as I used to, but, like, other people don't enjoy it too much. But probably like play my eternal witness, blink my eternal witness, just turtle around, get all the value. MHG is like more absurd than MH2. I would say yes. I think I agree with that, although. Although, um, I would also say, I guess we crack this now. I would also say that I don't know if there's, I'm hoping there's uh, and the level of like, grief and fury and hogak. There's probably something that slips through, but I don't see anything that's like, I don't see anything that looks like the It's just like, uh, break the format. Although, I didn't think the Vogue Elementals were going to break the format back when they were spoiled, so. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's kind of where I'm at. It looks really powerful. Uh-oh. Demonic Tutor. Off of Dark Tutor. And Underworld Page. Dark Ritual. Stitcher Supply. Oh, 
I assume we're just dead here. Are there both elementals on the bonus equipment? They are. So the, my concern with those is actually a magic arena. I Do you think they're actually gonna let them be legal on arena? They can't. They can't. But they also don't. Uh, it's cool to see storm. You know, see storm that much. They gotta. That maybe we just need to be like playing the lines or something. There's so many reindeer guys that milling our opponent seems to be an actual big drawback. Have you saw they got high strong in the podcast? I saw someone said that it exiles the card rather than making a copy of the card. Although, is that actually keeps it in a meaningful way? Like, is that. Like, yeah, it's definitely wrong. I think he was right, but like, does that actually change the power level that much? Because I'm not sure that it really does. I've tried timeless super friends. Seems like with Oakwood Fairy and other broken watchers on the I have I played some like Oko to Dickens style deck, but I've never I don't think I built a straight super friends deck. It did it opponent. You stormed us. Here's your card, Saffron. Saffron, Lord of Wind. One the red, legendary champion creature. It's a one four. When it enters a battlefield, pretty three three legendary creature named Fair that has, when this card enters play, duplicate all ETB triggers until the end of turn. Ooh, this turn. Non basic lands are mounted. There we go. There we go. That's that's exactly what I'm looking for. You nailed it, Stone Rain. That would be the perfect, the perfect card for me. Ooh. How many of have any of you watched the Fallout show? I actually watched the Fallout show. The Fallout show was actually it was good. I'm actually like surprised. Whenever I hear there's a show being made off of video games, I'm very skeptical. <laughs> very skeptical. But uh, but this one was actually like really really good. I was very at the end of it. I was like, wait, the, <laughs> they got to do another season of this, right? Like, when is the next season coming out? It was like, that good. I actually recommend it. I can't believe I'm saying it, but I would recommend it. Your should be called Saffron Hollow, something, something. And then your universe's within version could be Saffron. Ooh! That would be, that would be a good reference. That would be really good. What did you like about the ball? So, I thought it was... I thought this home was... was I mean, it's Fallout. It's post-apocalyptic, you know, really serious, horrible stuff. But it was like light and easy. It was just, uh, it didn't have that like heavy. Uh, the Last of Us, the other like, uh, what was that last year? The video game, uh, the video game show. I thought that was really good too. But it was a lot darker and more serious. I liked just the the light tone of Fallout. And then I thought that the the narrative, the story, was actually like good. I thought it was like good enough. Side worded more. Um, I thought it was good enough that that even someone who didn't really who didn't really know the the video game could enjoy it. Hey, can you clarify something for me? If I have two copies of Cat Manufacturer, and then I make a treasure token, do I make seven tokens in total, or one for each token I created? Okay, so you have two Cat Manufacturers, you make a treasure token. So your treasure token would also be a food in a cube because of an Academy Okay. Help me, Jeff! I think it's a bigger number. I think it's a bigger number. But that's actually... See, that's when I just hit the buttons on Arena and see what happens. 